I think many go best sellers will go far like me or even higher if they were able to put their food online. online. My name is Evangeli Tete and okay. I grew up in Accra. The name OJ is my mom's name. OJ oh, okay. Tua. Okay. Um, the beans and plantain, the red red is the, what she used to look after, take care of us when my dad died. Okay. It's the business that she's been doing since I grew up to know that this is my mom. Mm -hmm. So having to start the business, I couldn't find any more suitable name than hers. Wow. So it means what you do solely here is you sell gobe. Yes. I That's sell the only food you sell? Only. Why only gobe? Because you should have added maybe some banku and soup and all that. Okay. That's what the family is a family business. That's what we do. Okay. I have a sibling that also sells the gobe at another location. Okay. So it's what we do and what we are good at. Mm. Um, we don't want to interfere with the beans business. Adding something else interferes with the beans business. Okay. And I want OJ's kitchen to be known strictly for Gobe. Gobe. I grew up at uh, Accra, Gamashi and Tima Market area, Mambo. Okay. I had my basic education at St. Anthony's Preparatory School and then Hansen Road. Uh -huh. um, I then went to Temasco. Okay. And then I did public relations at GIJ. You did public relations at DIJ? Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, so I think I doubled into journalism for some time with a few radio stations. Okay. And, well, life decisions made me decide that I had to choose between a business and my normal 8 to 5 job. Okay. Actually, I thought I could manage it, but I realized that my business is more fetching okay. than my eight to five job. So you have to decide Choose that. one, yes, and that's how come I chose to sell. I had, I do have responsibilities mm. and those um, actually um, influence this decision. It's got to a time that it's actually hard to find work. And when you do the salaries and the pays, they're not enough. Mm -hmm. So people, okay, most of us are advised to go into businesses to not rely on white collar jobs. Okay. So having a some says, oh, you're educated, it will be okay, and something, go for it, go for it, it will, it will be fine. Mm. So I decided to go for it, and that's why I started a half time, part time. Okay. So I was doing this and then doing a, a program late at night. Okay. But then I started to, I decided to choose the. Red red business. My business is my beans, my gobe is the old time gobe. Okay. The one with the with the red red, the beans and the oil raw and the gari. Okay. Nowadays we have they have modernized it. Okay. They do it bean stew mm -hmm. and all that with plantain. But for me, I was, I'm doing it the way my mom used to do it. The and local it was, one. The local one. The one you used to eat when you were in school. The gobe. <laughs> the correct one. That, yes. Okay. That's what I'm doing here. We do it actually in a pack. Okay. And the kappa comes with beans, plantain and egg. So we serve that as 10 CD. But if you don't want the pack and someone just wants raw beans to eat, we start dishing from 4 CDs. Okay. Yes, and we sell the egg individually. Our plantain is 50 pesos. So you can still buy even if you don't you have less than 10 CD. Okay. I've had a lot of uh, colleagues or friends, mm -hmm. classmates, okay. who come to buy here, but they don't really see me. Because, because you're I, always at the back. No, I'm, not, I, I'm actually taking the money around here. <laughs> okay. So I, I decided to change my position. I realized that I have a lot of classmates mm -hmm. and friends who come to buy the food that I'm not aware of. Yes. Mm. Their, their reactions are, they, I have got positive reactions from all of them. Mm. How much I've done well because at least I'm paying some people. You understand? I'm, I'm making an impact in other people's lives. So to be able to employ someone, it's, it's a good start. Currently, I have four girls working with me. I have two in the front that serves and two in the kitchen. 
So they are the ones that I'm working with. So true go bear business, you are employing four people. You yes. are paying four people. Yes. Oh wow. Like, how did you start it? I know it's a family thing, all right. But then how did you start it on your own? Okay, I was in between jobs at the time and I was home. I would just go on a night shift and work. And then the rest of the day, and then the rest of the day I am home. So after night job, I'm home the whole day. And I told a cousin of mine that I'm looking for a place to set up the beans business. Mm -hmm. And he told me that there's a shop here and he recommended and that's how it started. Mm. So professionally, how long have you been in this business? Uh, professionally, three years. Three years? Yes, please. My education has given me the communication skills to deal with my customers. Mm. Dealing with people is not easy. When I started this work and I realized that you need a lot of patience and know how to talk. Okay. And know how to talk. We understand. Me. This is kitchen, so kitchen, <laughs> JQ can happen. <laughs> okay. you, know, you need to know how to talk to be mm -hmm. able to communicate. And my level of education has actually helped me introduce my food online. Okay. And I can say that is one of the reasons why I have a lot of customers because my food went online. Mm. Yeah, so I'm, I'm dealing with um, Jumia and Bold's Food. And I think my level of education has given me the chance to be able to maneuver them. Because dealing with orders and all that, mm -hmm. if you are not that educated, it's not going to work. I think many gobe sellers will go far, like me, or even higher, if they were able to put their food online. online. The world is changing now. Mm. It's a digital world now. Okay. People do not have time to Digitalization. come Digitalization. <laughs> People do not have time to come and stand in queues okay. for long hours. They just have a short period for lunch. Mm -hmm. So they call you prior to their lunch time and then they order and then you receive. I think it's, it's, it's good. It's, it's something that is, is benefiting them and me at the same time. Okay. Because I think if there was a problem, my online orders wouldn't be that much. Mm. I have to close some my uh, my apps just so that I can serve, concentrate. concentrate because the orders when they come. So, yeah, going online has helped me a lot. I think it's one of the reasons why I am popular now. Oh wow! Yeah, <laughs> yeah rough. Yeah, I'm just you just give me a rough estimate, <laughs> not not an exact figure, but on a rough day. The quarter quarter, I'll tell you later. But I have a lot of orders. I can I can make fifty plus orders, and then I have to pause. Because God, there is not some food that when it's the, there's a rush hour, you can just put it on and then cook, sell it. It's, just, it's not like rice. It okay. needs time. Mm -hmm. I cook my food for at least four hours. You cook my for yes. four hours? Yes. You see, there's, there's some, some gobe sellers who have this, something they put in the top can way. Yeah. Yeah, to fasten the distance. But I, I don't do that. So... My mom didn't do that, so I can't do that. So that's how come I need to be patient. So sometimes I close earlier because the market will surprise you. Mm -hmm. At that time, you can't do anything about it anymore. Take us through the journey of how you prepare your gobe that has made it so special and different from another person. Well, it's the same old gobe, but I, I come very early in the morning okay. and I use the gas. It's, it's on it for four hours. So I come in the morning as early as 4.30. So we start work around 9, 9.30. That's when we start selling our food. So I have patience for the bees. That's how come it's that good. Mm. What would be your word of advice to a young lady, a young guy out there who wants to do something for him or herself, but then probably is looking at government work? Start a business. Starting a business has helped me so in so many ways because you see these jobs like you said they are not available there. The moment you start small and you are good at what you do, you learn more about what you do. Always learning. I'm always learning on how to change my my marketing skills in a way that will benefit me. Like joining other uh, delivery companies like Jumia, Bold Food, they are helping a lot. The, you could go online and you could imagine the things that they sell. They sell everything there. Mm. So any business that you enter, you venture in, I think you should try to expand. 
expose yourself. Let people know your business. People enter into business, they sit in one corner, they say your business is not good, I don't have business, and then they give up. I think the digital world, the internet has given us opportunity to make your business grow one step at a time. Yeah. I, I didn't have it like this when I started. Once, when the, we were locked down, mm -hmm. I realized that the online business is very important. People weren't coming here, but I was having orders mm. online to be delivered. Okay. So I think starting a business, learning how to expose, expand your business, and yes, that's one of the things that will help you. My first point, reason in starting this business, is to help my siblings. Okay. When both my parents died, I was left with the, uh, uh, the responsibility to take care of them. Depending on the 8 to 5 job wasn't enough. enough. So why have I been selling beans all my life? I started selling at the JSS, I was helping my mom. Mm. So I'm actually good at it. And it's something that is nice. So a lot of people patronize it. So why don't I start a business and use that money to help my siblings' education? Now, one of them has completed the university, and there's another one at GID right now, who will be completing next year. So I think starting this business has helped me put my siblings through school. <laughs> Is there any meaning to the word gobe? Well, it's... Um, because we just come to hear gobe, gobe. I had the gobe too when I was in secondary school. Okay. And what I know is, is an error word. Okay. And we, we mentioned it wrongly. Apparently it's gobe. <laughs> gobe, not gobe. Okay. So the gobe is, is food that is heavy. Like heavy food. That's what a friend told me. Okay. So gobe is the popular one. Okay. But yeah. the real one is... <laughs> <laughs> But the real one is Gobe. Okay. okay. Assuming you are not operating Gobe business, you are not doing your journalism thing, what other business would have come to mind to probably venture into? Well, I have plans to invest in agriculture. It's something that is on my mind. Okay. And I intend to do so. Is it farming? Is it animal rearing? Uh, is it... Poultry, poultry farming. Okay. Yes, that's one thing I want to do. Oh, okay. Why that? Why, why poultry? Um... I have a little knowledge about that one too. Oh, okay. So I think it's going to help me. Mm. And um, I think the the poultry farming is one business that you benefit both ways. Mm -hmm. You get the meat, you get the and eggs. you get the eggs. <laughs> and yeah, most of the food that we have here, we need eggs. Whether from bakery to street side food, we need eggs. And then meat, the chicken meat is everywhere. So I think it's it's a business if I venture into, I'm going to get returns. Mm. My food is, is such a way that it's on a scale in a normal number, a normal amount. We don't normally go beyond the 100 CDs mark that in case the e-levy tax. Okay. But I have a customers who order a lot and you could see the, you could hear the complaints all the time. Mm. So definitely it's going to affect my charges and everything, withdrawing it and everything. Okay. Negatively, still, a bit shiami. Mm. <laughs> the things I, I get, uh, I, I buy to sell my food, they are transported from the villages to here, okay. to, uh, to Accra. Now, if the prices increase, the driver is going to charge more. Mm -hmm. So by the time the plantain gets here, the price has doubled. Mm. And it is even worse when it's not in season. Okay. The things that we buy, they are transported, the plantain, the palm oil, the gari. So it affects them, affecting my business too. Because when I buy them and I sell it on my normal uh, amount, it's affecting me. So if I don't increase it because they've increased it in the market, I don't get to make any profit. So if there's a petrol increase, it has increased everything. Every, including pure water. Mm. <laughs> including water. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know, uh, just like you mentioned, the plantain is uh, says now something. So in times that there are no plantain how do you still go ahead and sell the government you see let me tell you one thing about east Lagos customers i'm not sure more kakra you see my mom when the plantain is not in season she has this sweet potato okay that she adds to the As, food okay but for me i've tried it once it didn't work oh no 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 my mommy be mad here so i try to um 
get the plantain at a reasonable price and then reduce the sizes reduce the size and then that's how come it helps me sell i have to reduce the sizes of the plantain so that i can get something i want to thank them i want to thank them a lot because if not for my customers i do not know and you see the thing is that my customers they recommend me mm. they recommend me because some of them like me they like you <laughs> some of them <laughs> some of them like me and that's how come they recommend me and the food is good okay. you should try it it's really good you see at the pan at home okay so if somebody recommends oh this food is nice i want go but where should i get this oh it's labor an american house i want to thank them so much for helping me grow uh, from my little business to now and anybody who wants to join the business do whatever passion you have i have the passion to cook whatever you're passionate about do it and then expose yourself let people know about you and it's going to flourish